Yo, we were supposed to be damn doing a dive for the wedding. It's over with. Y'all gonna, gonna see this yeah, double cheek look. Y'all gonna, gonna see this chin coming down. We gonna be player though. Yeah. We gonna look good. But damn. Food be too food good. Food be Because they really tried it at our McDonald's. They ain't have shit. Okay? They didn't have the sweetie um packet, sweet sweetie and sour. They just had the regular sweet and sour. And they even ran out the sweet and sour. Oh, they got. She got her own sauce with it. Yes, it's a sweetie meal. I feel they, like the they didn't wrap the same sweet and sour. I mean it's the same sweet and sour, but, but I want the damn <laughs> shit that say sweetie and sour. And you supposed to have the boxes with the food in it. Didn't have it. None. So we came here today to give y'all a life update. If you don't know, we're getting married in three no, in two weeks. Yeah, the twenty eighth is the two weeks. Yeah, it's the tenth. Eighteen days. We're going down. Seventeen. But what's the name? It's seventeen days. Today's the tenth. 17 days? Is it 28? My countdown on Instagram said 17. Okay. <laughs> like, what's the what's the point of advertising Sweetie Meal and y'all, oh, it's, oh, it's not going to come in a packet. She just ordered um, Big Macs and four piece nugget and she's put it on now. Bitch. Oh, damn, salt ain't got no salt on that one. I'm not gonna McDonald's no more. I don't even I ain't had, yeah, for real. I ain't had McDonald's. I really just went to cook sweet. I ain't gonna say, I went one time about six months ago to claim it in the long time. But you said you got a McGriddle not too long ago. That's what I'm saying. But it's just they breakfast, they breakfast be hitting. Oh, yeah, and that one time I was drunk. No, you was pissed because they didn't, they weren't open. Oh, yeah. And we had to go to what you call it. Oh, they gave us more than the sweet sauce. It's really barbecue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, what you just ate your oil? It look like it's lacking. What big dogs you went to, bud? Up there on the right of corner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now this is yeah, this is a McDonald's from the A right here. They look good. Show them your burger. You see. They look a little good. Uh, this one supposed to do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we gotta we gotta eat it like her babe. We're just not gonna eat it normal. Oh, how she eat it? She put she take the bread off and she put the chicken nuggets on it. We have to eat it like her. She ain't greedy like that. So greedy. She not greedy like that. So greedy. Let's see what we're gonna chicken nugget hang on for a right quick. They nuggets used to be a little, you gotta stack it on them. I'm just put two. I don't like, I don't like big sandwiches. And then you take the other piece off and you put fries on it. Damn. You gotta, you gotta eat it like that. She didn't even fight like that. Shout out my boy Quavo. What the hell was you talking about? No, we taking big boy Bentley's back. If you don't, if you don't know how to act. And I'm saying and we take care. Get a little straining. And I'm saying take Str care. A little straining. What the hell is you saying? Take care. And she killed him with it. That's why he took it back. So said take care. I'm just not believing she greedy like this to put chicken nuggets and fries on a burger. Oh, and she um, get the sweet and sour pack. And she do it like that. Well, now, what she said she did this at? 
It's, Who seen her eat it like that? Everybody. She did it on live. That's why she can't. That's why they went to her about her sandwiches anyway. She ain't greedy like this. I like to dip everything, so let me dip my fries. Did you put the fries on your sandwich? Yeah. Yeah, them hoes need some salt and some ketchup. That's what they need. That's what I'm gonna get. That bit big. I can switch that bit. Did you put the fries on it? Babe, if you ask me that one oh, more time. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Look, and them folks know they need to bring back high sea orange. I don't know what made them. Bro, let me tell you, the first time I went to McDonald's, and I was like, hey, let me get high sea orange. We discontinued that. I was. I said, pissed. what the hell you mean y'all discontinued that? Um, sir, I, I don't know. I said, now nah, y'all need to go in the clothes. Don't, nobody want Fruitopia. And what it, they don't want to have fruit yeah, top or in Powerade. Top. I don't want no Powerade. Powerade with Buster too. I don't want no Powerade with my food. And no, that McDonald's Sprite. Yeah, now that's that bad. shit Echo Seltzer. <laughs> <laughs> that shit Echo Seltzer. <laughs> I don't know like, what they put in that Sprite, yeah. but that shit, oh, that be strong. That I had a whole, I had some with a little turkey. And I grew a whole bunch of hair right here after drinking that Sprite. But come on, let's bite this. Not bad. I wish they would have gave us some napkins. Thanks, baby. I forgot you be having to have your ketchup. Hey, look, you know, you know, everybody got the drill. We got the the Heinz. We got the Zaxby's ketchup. Got the hunts, you know this that That's home. from JJ's. <laughs> That's from JJ's. Yeah. Now that's just, no, this one from JJ's. Or oh, it's probably from um Oh American Deli. American Deli. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's Cisco, yeah. Everybody got that draw now. Don't put it on now. Okay, so let's just go ahead and get into this video. But <sighs> Y'all, I'm really getting I'm not saying scared, but a little anxious. Because I'm getting married. I'm only. T I know younger people get married, but it's like 26. I don't know. I don't. I don't know what it is. Like, how do you feel? Like, what is it? I feel normal because when I went to college, that was. Go and I'm still old. Shit. Boy, you about to turn 28. Eight. It's not old. That ain't young. Hell, I ain't trying to be no old ass daddy. Yeah. I go outside and put my folk. But I am ready though. I'm ready for it to be over with. But I can't say this process had me in different emotions. Happy, sad, stressful. Ready for this shit to be the hell I'm over with. Aggravated. Just really aggravated, like <laughs> with everything. It just seemed like she be ready to be aggravated, you know. Your boy cool as a fan. Another bother me. Jerry, what's on? Oh, okay. You know how me, many. Babe, babe, so, so, so. Oh, shit. Men, they don't never be. They don't never stress about anything anyway. If he needs something, if he got to pay for some, or he got to go to some, oh, he all is. But far as any type of planning, about, like, get a little knick-knack shit, oh, he, he ain't give a damn. He just sit there. Oh, okay. But like, okay, babe, this is what you gotta pay. All right. Like it's just it's like easy a, for like them. Like a good hus husband should do what I'm supposed do what I'm told. Meanwhile, I'm over here stressing. Mm -hmm. Just oh, it just it was just shit every week. But I can't say since it like towards the end of July, everything just been breathing. But far as like getting everything together and situated, it's pretty much done. It's over with. I just can't wait for the day. It's going to be hard for me because me and Jared, we talk all day. We FaceTime each other. And for me to go that, even though it's not the whole day, 
that mm. amount of time without talking to him. It's gonna be weird because you to me. yes, I am. My, mama, I know you finna watch. You know you get on my nerve. <laughs> my auntie finna get on my nerve. His mama might finna get on my nerve. Whoever, everybody finna get on my nerve. And I just he calms me down. And the fact that I can't Facetime him because we don't we rarely text. We always Facetime. I might call. I don't know. But it's gonna be weird for me not to Facetime him on that day. Mm. I can feel that. I can feel that. But hey, that's what we wait for. That's what we been waiting for. But let me tell y'all, man. How about my my grooming tuxes? I try to go to the boutique support back business. Oh, we gonna air the ass out after that he get his jacket. <laughs> I don't give a damn. And I want y'all to go on that Yelp review. Yeah. We and leave that shit. We, we gonna do that shit get... like Trick Daddy yeah. with the beehive. <laughs> but go ahead, tell him. Oh, yeah, man. My groomsmen. We went out there to get fitted. What? Like I said, today, the 10th. So that was last week. So like, it's actually good. Who would have thought to put this on there? But keep on. Greedy. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, my groom went out to get fitted. These folks told us I ain't no suits. What you mean I ain't no suits, bro? It's they said no my, ETA. My wedding less than a month out when you ain't got no ETA or know where the suits at. Yeah, I had to scramble. We had to go get suits at Men's Warehouse. I still gonna be clean, but I wanted my boy to be clean. You know what I'm saying? And because no, I'm gonna have that shit on. They was gonna um they was gonna keep those suits. Yeah, that too. Now they have the real, which is cheaper. You know, they probably That's ain't going to stun it. But, mm. It's all right. Mm. But we actually supposed to be on here talking about, um, we, uh, been doing marriage counseling, of course. But with somebody, anybody who's engaged, I definitely suggest just go ahead and do it just to make sure that y'all are clicking like you're supposed to and, you know, doing the right things in your relationship. Cause that was one thing we really learned. That's one thing I learned from our uh, marriage counselors. Like some of the stuff we were being advised to make sure that we're doing our relationship. The stuff we've been doing from the get go. You know, not going to sleep mad, accepting each other for who you are. You know, different things that. Cause I mean, I think everybody got to remember. Even though you get married, this person's not perfect for you. Even though you just m make them. And they may feel it, but they gonna have their flaws. They gonna have their different things they gotta deal with. Just like you got your things, you gotta deal with. Yeah. It's the biggest thing you say you learn from. It. <laughs> but the biggest thing I learned from um, marriage counseling is not learn. Well, not learn. I already knew, but just you know, learning from married people. Every day is not gonna be perfect. You're gonna have those trials. What is that? Trials and tribulation. Mm -hmm. When it comes to a relationship, everything's not peaches and cream. You're not going to like that person all the time. I can say, even though Jared and I have been together for like, it's been four years, but talking five, I still feel like we're in the honeymoon stage. Do you feel that way? No. Or no? Oh, you don't? I don't feel like we're in the honeymoon stage. So I don't feel like we're living in La La Land. I feel like. I'm not saying La La Land, but I'm saying I'm. Still infatuated with you. Well, yeah, yeah, I didn't feel like that. Yeah, I feel like that's honeymoon stage when you're still infatuated with that person and you still want to be around that person. I thought, or no? Well, yeah, I guess so. I guess I would be honeymoon. Like, I'm stage. still on the high with you. Yeah. It didn't come down. But I feel like that's because we made sure we, you know, kept the turmoil and negativity out of our relationship. I feel like that's definitely one thing you got to make sure you do. Get you friends that's like minded, kind of on the same thing. And even if people aren't on the same thing, you don't be scared to keep doing what you're doing. Because if you're going to get the grain, who cares? You know what I'm saying? Unless you're going to get canceled. Part of the cancel culture. <laughs> Y'all, we blow up. Y'all don't cancel me, bro. Because I try to get to talking and running my mouth. Man. I got a lot of opinions. I don't want to get canceled, bro. <laughs> <coughs> People 
People, they do be quick to just. They be camping, yo. Yeah. They be ready to camp my boy Boosie. No, Boosie was saying bullshit. Some, yeah, he do, but at the same That's time. That's how you say it. It's, you it's, his, say deli like it's it. his delivery. It's his delivery. Because sometimes, all the time, he don't be wrong. But he don't have to. And sometimes he may not have, he don't to, have say to say it. shit. Yeah, but. He don't was, have nothing to do with you. Hey, if you want to talk about it, he can. He got the platform. I'm talking to a dude at work. Bro, say, we were talking about the, um, we were talking about the baby and the little boosie. And we weren't talking about, no, I'm not going to talk about him. Oh. But we were just talking <laughs> about, <you know? laughs> but no, we were just pretty much talking about it. And, he, and I pretty much, at the end of my conversation, I said, so bro, you pretty much telling me that you pretty much, if you have a platform, you're really not allowed to have an opinion, your own opinion. And he said, yeah, pretty much. I said, bro, come on, bro. That don't even sound real. You can have your own opinion, but it just be like, you can say it in a sensitive manner. He was insensitive. Yeah. I don't give a damn how you take it. The baby was being insensitive. He, does, he definitely was, and he didn't have to say what he said. He didn't have to say all that. Oh, you ain't, sucking. you ain't gotta say all that shit. You don't. Yeah. I get the roll call. He ain't had to go that deep. He ain't had to do all that. He did not. Yeah, you are. My, for my upcoming brides to be, and if you are in the bride's wedding, well, this is really for like anybody who's helping the bride try to plan her perfect day. Please, 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 please try to minimize the bride's stress. Do not go to the bride about every damn thing. You conversate with that shit with the other bridesmaids and the maid of honor. Do not go to the bride. That's one thing that I can say that I did not like in this process. Please don't come to me with shit. Because I have enough, I have enough shit on my plate than to worry about other how people feel about certain things and just I don't know just certain shit like it just that annoyed me because I have to take over spirit once you come to me and you complain about something then it's like mm, I'm gonna do it myself or you come to me you complain about something oh don't worry about it they're not coming to my shit or it's just I don't know I feel you though. Meanwhile, fellas, we've been cool as a fan, baby. Y'all boy, hey, shout out y'all boy. Y'all know the fellas, we're gonna keep it cool. I don't even know how y'all be getting all that stuff. It don't even be enough stuff going on. Just a whole bunch of females. It be female. And then outside the pen, and then just like yeah. stupid shit. And people always say, oh, you gonna look, when you get married, you gonna lose people. And I all. And I knew I wasn't going to lose my body, but I did. You know, but it is what it is. You can't be scared of me on that journey. The journey going to get real long when you go into the top. Yeah. And that one thing. But, you know, being uncomfortable, ain't, there's nothing wrong with being uncomfortable. Being uncomfortable is actually a sign of growth. And something that we definitely, everybody, <clears throat> especially if you're a young adult like us, you know, we everybody knows in the 20s, they make it seem as if they don't let you know that you're real still, still figuring yourself out. You know, we we every single day we figuring out what we're doing. Every single day people doing jobs that they never thought they'd do. It was on my pants. <laughs> but you know, I just say that to tell everybody to stay motivated. Where I work at, <laughs> I sit next to the window. And even like this Sunday I got caught my coworker behind me. She said, Jerry, what you looking at? And I really wasn't even looking at it. I was just looking out out the window. You Why know, she looking at you anyway? <laughs> but if I used to talk about that a girl that stunned me. But yeah, you know, and I just kind of, it's stupid, but I kind of look at like when it's a nice day outside, it makes me motivated to say like, man, I ain't finna be in this office forever. I ain't finna be working with these folks forever. You know, and then one thing about it, I done started doing, I use social media. At one point in time, I used social media and kind of watched and was like, damn, man, when my turn? Man, they hitting it. They doing it. Why I ain't doing it? But Social media is a flex. 
But then even though, so, but sometimes though, it's all about how you perceive it. Because if you perceive it as motivation, like, man, I'm finna get, I'm, I'm a nick, so I'm finna get me some, then it's totally different from you looking like, hey, man, everybody ain't getting it but me. Like, you take it a different way, but just stay motivated, bro. Stay motivated. We young. We young. We got a lot of life ahead of us. You don't, And then, now I, watched, I watched a video the other day. It was a Rick Ross video. And he pretty much was saying, like, everybody is one move away from blowing up. And that's all it really is. You got to make that one right decision. And then you could be gone. You could be, you could blow up. And it's it, it's all done till it start making money. No. Just because people don't see your vision don't mean it ain't one. Remember that. If I write with them scooter, what they got a scooter, scooter boot, something. They used to um, clown that boy. Now Ray J um, business worth, what, a million? Or something? Some shit like that. But them boys, just stay motivated, bro. Stay motivated and never feel like you can't do what the other folks doing. And then, just keep thinking. Keep your mind elevated. Don't don't get in a worker be mindset because that's what we ain't that. We ain't that. It's so much more people. Them folks will let you work and be the best worker for 20 years. You gonna be the boss. And that's when you everybody to be out here trying to be a boss. I ain't even be no work be I'll tell you that right now. I can't keep giving these folks fifty dollars my fifty. Fifty dollars my week. Oh but y'all playing. Dragging that sweetie mo. <laughs> I ain't had a big mask on that bit really good. <laughs> they had it fresh. Bit flying. Everybody keep asking us when we're gonna have kids. Our plan is to have well to start working on our family way tonight. But Yes sir. But I looked at my period calendar and my period is supposed to be off. God got us. You know what I mean. It's time. It's time. We need another Jared in the world. That's what the world been missing. Another one of me. No, you enough. <laughs> no, you I think we need another one. We might need two. Ooh. If you give me two Jared's by the you can go slip me. No. Hmm? The first one could be a little Jared, then the second could be a little quick. But I'm saying, no. If I get two Jared's, I'm about to go. No, you're not. We're going to try it till we have a girl. Three to max. If I don't have my girl at three, we done. No, we not. What? <laughs> but if I have two we girls done. off the dribble, you not gonna say we done? I just said three, but if we had three, I'm getting out of there. I'm done. I can't ever ask too much estrogen in one building. I can't live like that. Be the went crazy. Especially if they had your attitude. I'll be out here like my cousin. <laughs> yeah, so do have three girls. Yeah. Well, go get him a boy dog. I ain't mad at you though. Do what my you auntie, gotta do. My auntie had five girls. <laughs> That's too much. <laughs> I bet it was it was fun though. It was fun. For who? Mm. Well, I guess yeah, it's all girls. Yeah, though. it was fun. No, it's too much fighting and hollering and all that stupid stuff. But yeah, y'all. So y'all gonna put Team Boy Let Queen though. We need another Jared. I mean. I'm beautiful. Me. Beautiful? Yes, I'm beautiful. Yeah. Who told you that? I thought your <laughs> name was Hennessy. Been him, but I'm just also reiterating. I'm gorgeous. I mean, you ain't never had a nigga look like this. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Boy, <laughs> bye. Go to sleep. Yeah, man, come on. Go That's to sleep. I mean, now I'm skipping on the drink side, too, it's bro. It's a little watery. That's why I don't nobody go there no more, bro. It's a little watery. It, it, now, don't cut. Those cups used to be big as hell. That's what I'm saying. What is this? This was the small, but this is considered the medium. That one, this is the this smoothie used, cup. This used to be the small. This is smoothie cup. Wait, does that say large? It say medium. This is a medium. Oh, I see. I mean, now I see, bro, y'all. Oh, I ain't for nobody finna go to y'all no more, bro. Straight up. We don't even wait. Folks don't even put reviews on McDonald's no more because we already know what they expect. Trash. Somebody said the chicken nuggets got chicken all on the in it. <laughs> <laughs> it's right up to them. What's in that? No, oh, God. Yeah, I don't tell them what I it is. I damn sure ain't no chicken nuggets. <laughs> yeah. Because I ain't never, like, ever since I seen that thing on Facebook with the pink paste, 
vomit though. Stop, boy. Jared, because you could have made me throw up. You done ate it now. But you, I, it still could come up. <laughs> <laughs> but you always gotta take it left. I'm just saying, bro. You always gotta take it left. I'm just saying. Man, and we need to get a beer line to go and sponsor your boy. You know what I'm saying? Look at all that, that flourishing goodness. You see that? I that's what we gotta. That's what we gotta get. That's why I gotta get the subscribers up. <laughs> you supposed to see me. <laughs> but shut up. Mm, yeah, that's it. Y'all shit was skip. No. Until you met me. Mm-hmm. I said you be patchy. Oh, I will pay. You had a little. Oh, I will pay. You had a little jock, jock strap. Chin strap. A oh, chin strap. I made it thick. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to do, bro? Yeah, man. How, and have y'all told somebody the how much y'all love us and that they need to subscribe to us? Cause I don't think y'all telling me for real. Y'all not. They not telling. I told y'all to tell y'all sister, cousin, brother, sister. Friend, co-worker to subscribe to your girl channel. And nobody came up to me and said, hey, aren't you here for YouTube? <laughs> Why they ain't happy yet? Yes, I'm they have. They have. They're QT. But not. Oh, yeah. They have. Yeah, they they have. That one time. But that was all. He thought that, he was a shit when that girl recognized him. Yeah, yeah she recognized me. She forgot your name. Yeah. And she was like, are you, are you Jared? Yeah. yeah. Oh, and oh. I was looking at the bitch like, who the fuck is you? But they didn't know who she was. What you talking about? I said that girl was just like, "Hey, ain't you Jeff from YouTube? Did you be on YouTube?" And she's like, "No." Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> 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 he think. See, that's why you can't. That's why folks can't do shit. That's what I hope nobody ever recognize you. Because boy, and that'll be the that boy. That, I'm gonna show His head already big as fuck. Mm -hmm. Y'all gonna blow that bitch up. Cause he do too much. Please. If y'all But I'm fight though. Jared is a Leo. About, Jared is a Leo. August 16th, my birthday. His in a birthday few days, next Monday. Next Monday. Y'all know how And that's another thing, bro. Look, if y'all work every single day, bro, on your birthday, take the hell off. Did you take off? Every year? I, I don't give a damn. I don't have yeah, I don't have to do nothing. I'm on the day of my birthday is my day. If you follow the week, if you follow the Wednesday, I'm gonna be y'all. I'm gonna work Monday, Tuesday, not Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. <laughs> <laughs> That's my day. I don't give a damn. Y'all self self love. What it is self care. Yeah, self all that. Love. I'm on all that. Your birthday. That's your day. I don't give a damn. But if if y'all know any Leo men, I bet they act just like Jerry. We five, be, bro. No, we they be, be full of themselves. Be they be full of themselves. But it's you can't tell this man that he ain't shit. Like he don't look good. Like nothing. Yeah. If somebody say, "Oh, they nigga ugly," he be like, "Where? Bro, Where?" When I finally get in the gym and get this gut off me, can't nobody say nothing to me. Only thing I'm, I just need to be famous by then. Cause oh, I'm telling you. That's what's been saying, y'all nigga. Why they say people like Jared Lebot. No. 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 They don't. They do. No, they don't. They do say you do like fucking Jared. They and they that. say he do like Killer Mike. They do that. That's every, yeah. That's Killer cool. Mike, is that you? That shit really pisses me off. <laughs> they really tried y'all in with that one. Yeah. Jared Lebot was fine. He was fine. Bro. Killer Mike. Bro, it don't matter because when I, I get sold, I'm going to I love you. I love what you do for the community, but no. When I take when I take y'all on this fitness journey with me, whenever it happens, now y'all bear with me, cause I need to, I need food to start tasting good first. When food can start tasting I good, know. I can finally lose some weight. But damn, <laughs> hell, we're supposed to be damn doing a diet for the wedding. It's over with. Y'all gonna see this yeah, double gonna see this coming down. We gonna be player though. Yeah, we're gonna look good. But that, damn, food be too food good. be good. Then you gotta go to work and go work out. Come on now, <laughs> then, now to me. Now that school back in, I be so drained, so tired. Like I, I literally them post on Instagram about a week. Everybody was like, "Are you okay? Like, what's up with you? Nothing. Like tired. Drop. 
Work be goddamn tiring your ass out. When you we can't on, work for these folk forever, bro. We can't work for these folks forever, bro. I really be tired of getting my own money, bro. You got to realize the folks make you work $50, 40 hours a week. That's 80 to to $100 on the check to give you what they think they should give you. Like, huh? They done made millions and billions, and they say, huh? Here you go, your little thousand bucks. Go on here. <laughs> that crazy, bro. No, bro. We ain't finna keep doing that, bro. We ain't finna keep doing that. And then, bro, just bet on you, bro. Always bet on you. Never not been on you, bro. You need to be your biggest supporter. A real talk. Real talk. <laughs> we didn't get it. I don't know about y'all folks. We finna get it. She ain't got no choice. We finna go get it. <laughs> Wait, baby. <laughs> <laughs> he scared me. He always do stuff. I thought he was gonna give me a wet willy. He play so much. That's why I did like that. He do too much. Mm. But I hope y'all enjoyed our little life update, you know. We here. Man, if you ain't and if you ain't liked and subscribed and double tapped and laughed and said, come look at this with somebody. Y'all stop playing, bro. Y'all know y'all know all videos be good, bro. Come on now. Y'all show us some love, man. Just like, comment, subscribe. Blow it up. Blow it up. Blow it up. Yeah, just that time you see us, we're gonna be the Johnsons. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I I be trying to shoot out videos, but I be tired. I be tired. And I was like, I had a little energy today. I said, let me go ahead and do this. Let's do this video. Let's, let's do this video. We rock that right quick. Yeah. Everybody like the, uh, what's it called a video? So I guess we got to start talking to y'all a little more about how we met video. And I can't even give no review on this sweetie meal because it's just a bit mad. And um, chicken nuggets. But it was good, though. That combination was good. I ain't even gonna flex on Sweetie. That, you can't say that combination was good. I mean, it couldn't be nasty because it's chicken nuggets and a burger. But on top of each other, though. I'm saying. Ain't nobody eating that shit. That's just like putting the Doritos on a sandwich back in the day. I ain't never did that for hot Cheeto. That's all it was a chip. You a hood, baby. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, y'all need to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl channel and turn on that notification bell so you can see when I post a video. Okay? Tell your sister, brother, cousin, auntie, and co-worker. Welcome to the family. Yo, pull up. We need a team. What's our what's our what's the game called? What's the game gonna be? I don't know. Yeah, come on. Y'all gonna give us some gang names in the comments? We need some gang names. Everybody what should it gang be? Name. Y'all do have a thousand subscribers. They do. Once they yeah, get their love. They support. Y'all yeah. folks be supporting, bro. I appreciate it. And I, I really appreciate do appreciate y'all. my girl like that, bro. I love y'all. But y'all drop below what our names should be. Oh, God, we need some gang names. Just after that, though. We'll see y'all later.